Good morning, viewers. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Our topic for today's meditation, the December 5th, is Oh No Man Except the Death of Love. Before we proceed, let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for the opportunity of a new day. We pray that you will take charge of all that we shall share together. And may somebody be lifted, wherever he or she is listening, in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember again, our topic for today is, Oh, no man except the depth of love. Our passage is taken from Romans chapter 13, verses 18, verses 8 rather, to 14. I'll read quickly so that you can follow the exhortation. Oh, no man anything, but to love one another. For he that loveth another has fulfilled the law. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not be a false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love your neighbor as yourself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And that, knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy, but Put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lost thereof. People of God, I want to let you know that God is watching us. Everything we do, there's a record. The day will come when books will be opened and all secrets shall be revealed. Whatever you think you are hiding now will be made known because our God in heaven is keeping a perfect record for everyone. Have you embezzled government's money? Have you stolen any church money? Like Lazarus, as you have life, you need to do something. You need to pay back you need to go about restitution for all that you have stolen. You can check that out in Luke chapter 19, verse 18. Remember, the scripture is very correct and true. That bread gained by deceit is sweet. So a man very soon will cause his mouth to be filled with grave as you have in Proverbs chapter 20, verse 17. When you take, you have gained something in deceit, very soon it will turn sour. What is it you are doing? Remember, Apostle Paul was writing to, a, to the Roman church and letting them know that there are basic things that will make them not to make heaven if they don't take care of it. Are you taking care of these matters? I tried to look at the amplified version of this scripture and I saw that it's a very serious matter. For any child of God who wants to make heaven, you must keep out of debt. Do not owe anyone anything. Do not even owe God anything. Pay your debts. Some of us will go physically borrowing money and never pay back. Even when the person is asking for the money, you make him feel like a fool. 
you make him feel that he doesn't need to come or he, she doesn't need to come to ask for it. But when you went after him, begging and asking him to give you credit, you were on your knees. Now you are bragging. I am speaking to somebody this day. If you owe somebody, go out and pay him or her. If you don't even have to pay, there is nothing wrong in making contact and letting this person know your condition. This idea of trying to make people feel that they made a mistake, make having you get some credit from them is not proper at all. It's not good for a child of God. We have had series of complaints from Christians, brethren, who looked with mercy on others and tried to help them out in desperate situations. And when it is time to pay their debts, you find them dilly-dallying, going on and on with deceit, telling stories, even when they know the actual fact is that they are not willing to pay anymore. The Bible is clear this morning. Pay all you owe. Pay your debts. Don't owe anybody any debts. Not even God should be owed. Pay all your debts. Owe no man any debt. That is what Paul was saying. Forgive those who have offended you. Do not hamper progress or promotion of others if it is in your power to do so. Treat others as you would like them to treat you. That's what you are doing. That's what you are saying concerning a brother, concerning a sister. If it is said about you, will you be happy? That which you are manipulating at the back of somebody, by biting, but gossiping, if they do that concerning you, will you be happy? Treat people the, the way you want them to treat you. All you need to owe people by Bible standard is love. As a matter of fact, it is painful that today's church is leaving behind that which we should practice regularly, love, it, the show of love. How often we turn our back on people who need our help desperately. Even when we are convinced by the power of the Holy Spirit, even when we get revelations that these people should be assisted, you are there feeling as if nothing has happened. It is not proper. It is a sin. The Bible says, To him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. I want to challenge somebody this morning to go out there and show, somebody, show love to as many that they will come in contact with. Look at what the Bible says in the Abbeville Mansion. It says, The time is gone. The day is fast spent. The day of reckoning is almost here. Let us then drop the works and deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Don't forget, God expects us to show forth light. The Bible says we are the children of light. Let your light so shine before men that they will glorify God in heaven. Are you walking in darkness? This is the time to wake up. Is there any life that is deceitful in you? Nobody knows. This is the time to turn around. I don't know what it is that has become a very terrible habit for you. Here, for some people, the Bible says there is immorality, there is drunkenness. That is what the Bible specifically mentioned. There is debauchery, there is sensory, there is quarreling and jealousy. Are you a part of this? I beg of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Turn away from this sin. It is deliberate sin that must be avoided by Christians. It is willful sinning. And you cannot continue in it and imagine that you will go free. The Bible says that we should not sin willfully. We must not sin willfully. This eternal age, people, even though they don't fornicate physically, they fornicate in their hearts. In the, on the Facebook, they are there fornicating. Pornography of all kinds. Homosexuality, lesbianism. This is the time for you to know that God is sending out a warning. You don't have all the time in the world. Today is your day of salvation. You need to repent. All those illicit pictures around you. 
all those illicit thieves around you that corrupts the mind, that corrupts your system, that makes your habit to become very dirty. God is asking you to repent because the day is fast at hand. What is he expecting from you? Clothe yourself with the Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, and make no provision, not indulging for the flesh. Put a stop to thinking about evil cravings of your physical nature to gratify its desire. That is how Amplified put it. I beg you in the name of the Lord. God who is love commands us to love one another as he has loved us. Love will not do any wrong to his neighbor because it is the fulfilling of the law. Love does not envy. Love does not cause wantonness. Love does not give drunkenness and is not riotous. I pray with you this morning that you should put on the whole armor of light and the Lord our God will strengthen you. Is there anyone struggling with these things? God can set you free this morning if you believe God in prayers with me. Is there anyone who is not able to get out of it? I tell you, God can deliver you. All he needs from you is repentance. There is no other way out of it. Repent and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He will set you free. I pray that God, who has sent this message your way this morning, will set you free. And indeed, December shall be a month of victory for you. You will enter the new year celebrating God and celebrating the victory of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross in your life. May God bless you and keep you in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for fellowship with us today. We invite you to join us again tomorrow, money, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNN TV. Check out our website as www.acnntv.com. I pray with you this morning that the Lord will lift you up. The Lord will grant you grace. The Lord will open doors for you. Whatever it is that has been a source of struggle in your life, the Lord is going to cause deliverance. And you owing somebody and it's becoming difficult for you to accept your debts. I pray that Jehovah Jireh will provide for you and you will be able to accept all that has become a burden in your heart, physically and spiritually, in the name of Jesus. I thank the Lord for you. The Lord will grant you victory and the Lord will make you see the end of this year successfully. In Jesus' name, amen.